Hello and welcome to the 61st tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at popping a scene off the stack. We'll be using the source code from the 60th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for, for manipulating scenes. In this tutorial we will cover how to pop a scene off the stack, hence it gets rid of the current scene and goes back to the one below and re resumes execution of that scene. Bear in mind when popping you will want to only do so when the scene is available below in the stack. A real life example of this will be a pause screen in which you push the pause scene onto the stack, uh, hence the game scene still exists but its execution is halted and you pop it off afterwards when the user clicks a resume button for example. So let's go ahead and open up our app.js or app2.js. You need to open up both of them, and the reason I'm going to open up both of them is if we go to app.js. One thing I forgot to put in the last tutorial put a semicolon and just end the function like this because JavaScript is a very loose language, it doesn't really matter. But just make sure you end it with a semicolon. Now, if we go to our app2.js, we're going to create a menu here very similar to the app.js. So, we're going to copy and paste this, and this will pop our scene off. So what we're going to do is change this to pop. We're going to change the function call to pop, which we'll be implementing in a moment. We're going to comment out this sprite. And now what we're going to do is implement this right here. So what we're going to do is var pop equals function. And in here, we're going to do cc.director.pop pop scene and above that we're going to put initialized equals to false and the reason we're doing this is because we're getting rid of this scene and let's say if we push it back on we want to be able to initialize it again so we're going to set the initialization to false so if we just save this and now if we open up terminal change directory to our project directory run the cocos command And just need to resize the bread. I was wondering why the game was all the way over there. I was like, what the hell have I done in the code? So, okay, so we have our push button. We click push. It changes to our other scene, which has the menu called pop. And if we click pop, it goes back to the push scene. So, again, imagine if we have a, stack, a scene right here. So, imagine, I don't know, the, this is a stack. And then we, when we click the push button, it adds one onto it. And then when we click pop, it removes the top one, and then it goes to the one below, aka push adds one, pop just removes the current one, so we can go back and forth. How you, you could in a real game, if you're pausing a game, resuming a game, and pausing a game, and resuming a game. We now know how to push scenes and pop scenes. In the next tutorial, we will cover replacing a scene, which is essentially popping then pushing a scene again that's essentially what it does if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube or the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day